Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. I actually have it out of the box already. It's right over here. We're gonna get to it in just a split second. This is gonna be a motorized turret camera, full 1080p with a lot of cool features, night vision, 1080p. And just like all my unboxing and review videos in the description box right below this video is gonna be the link where you guys can pick this one up yourself, read more about it, see what other people are saying about it. If they sell it in the UK, I will link you guys below as well. If not, one very similar to it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and head on over here and let's go ahead and take a closer look. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. All right, we're gonna get to the camera in just a split second here, but we do have a power cord. Some of you guys are interested in some of these small specs. That power cord tip to tip is about four feet in length. We have our instructions here. We do have our waterproofing housing for the plug there in that little bag. And we have screws and drywall anchor screws for drywall, stucco, for mounting purposes. Let's go ahead and get to the camera. We will be needing to download the app. There is the QR code reader right there or it tells you which app to search for. And of course, we will be showing you the app and all the features in it. This does have, like I mentioned, night vision, motion detection. We do have a microphone input right here. And I'm gonna be a little careful, but there is a QR code reader. I'm not gonna show the internet because you scan that in your app to connect the camera. We do have a speaker up here for two-way audio and your Wi-Fi antennas to be able to reach it wirelessly connectivity from your cable modem router to the camera. But of course, we will need a power source, which is the plug provided. And this plug right here is gonna be your on and off or reset button there with a waterproof housing right there. The back of the camera here, we see that we have our mounting screws that you would just mount it into the wall there. And if your screwdriver can't get to that little bracket, go ahead and unscrew it from the holder there, then screw in your brackets, and then go ahead and mount the camera back onto the bracket there. Now in the back of it here, you do have to take off a little door here with two little screws. That is again on the back of the camera and you will find a TF card slot right there, which according to the description says it can handle up to a 128 gigabyte memory card. And we do look like we have a small, maybe a reset button right there. This again is fully motorized here. It will swivel and tilt, but we will show you it goes down, up, side to side, and you can control that through the app. So let's go ahead and hook it up and show you some footage. All right, guys, let's go ahead and look at the interface of the app here. And it did change because that is a newer photo. We're gonna be testing out night vision first. It is now nighttime. I do have a light in the background there, but we'll go ahead and kick that off so we can see it entirely here. Let's go ahead and push on that. That will load us to the live shot here. Now in the middle bottom here, we see a circle and that is your control panel there. So let's go ahead and go to the right here and it goes over and here I am sitting on the couch. Let's go a little bit over a little bit more. And here I am right here. Kind of hard to see my hand, but my hand is in the air waving there. There we can see that there kind of blends into the back wall. But obviously you can see my beard. You can see me holding my phone using screen capture. Let me show you how far it does go over. It goes over all the way, literally <laughs> behind the camera there. Very nice, all the way around, back over to me there on the couch. Hello again, stairway, all the way over where I have it temporarily mounted. And let's see, what's that? Is that the uh, stairway? I think, oh no, that's the, uh, the arm that I have it temporarily mounted on there that is right in front of the camera there. So even with that backlight on, it is still completely in night vision. So now we are in complete high definition, and it depends, of course, upon your internet connection, how fast it's gonna be, et cetera, but this is nice and crisp here, fully lit here. Let me go ahead and turn off my kitchen light. Okay, now my kitchen light is off completely here so I don't stumble in the dark as I make my way back over to the couch here. And now we are actually in expandable mode within the app here. You can see my projector right behind my head, behind me over here. 
and you still have your little key panel. You just touch the screen there. You can obviously listen in, but you're probably going to hear my uh, washing machine or myself talking in the background there, as we can hear. You can actually hear my voice being picked up from about 10 feet away or so from the camera where the camera is over there. Let's go ahead and mute that. That's going to get a little awkward during playback. You can easily make out my cajon over here, my IKEA photo behind me, very crisp and very clear as well. All right, since it is nighttime, down here in the bottom right, we're gonna go ahead and see more here. And then you have record, you have cloud album, and you have the off here as well. You have auto, off, and on. So when motion detection picks up, motion, it actually acts like a floodlight as well if you have it on. So turning that on puts four bright LED lights and night vision turns off obviously because the light is causing it to pull back its sensors for night vision. But now let's go ahead and look around here. You can see my stairway. You can see all the way to my back of my kitchen. You can see me now in color as you come around here and use your control panel again as I'm sitting on the couch with my blue shirt and gray pants. You can definitely see my hair, my beard, my projector once again. So that is a great option if you would like that feature for motion detection if you wanna use this like a floodlight. And again, you can put that on auto or you could have it off. Let's go ahead and turn it off here. Sometimes it depends upon your Wi-Fi connection. That might take a second before it does turn off. There we go there. So now obviously, as you can see there, when the light is off, then it would go back to night vision there. Let's go ahead and show you those lights here the motion detection lights or the lights that you can uh, have on there without blinding the camera. These are again, the four lights around the edge of the camera lens. And that is a nice illumination for intruders to be scared off for sure. Obviously you can tell that I haven't found a more permanent location yet for it, but this is just showing you some examples. Now in the app settings, you do have the options of obviously motion detection there sound detection as well, and you can have it push notifications. Let's go ahead and push on push notifications here. Receive notification, receive summary, stop notification time, receive app notifications. You would go ahead and uncheck that on. Now something to keep in mind here is the first night I did have it on entirely. It was very accurate and did a great job, but it is in my living room. So when I would walk in front of it, getting up from watching TV, if I would speak, it would pick that up and there is a lot of notifications that come in so you can play with those settings. But of course, if this is outside, mounted on the side of your house, you're gonna get less notifications than of course if it is inside my house like I'm showing you. You can uncheck those if you want for sound, motion detection, private share, intelligent tracking, image rollover, night vision, I have it on automatic. You can do an alarm tone device microphone. You can rename your camera. And let's go ahead and go back. They do offer a free cloud service right here, Benzy Cam. We see it's three days continuous recording service. Service length time is one month for zero dollars to try out their cloud service. You can share it with a family member and you can access your settings there as well or turn your camera on and off. Your cloud events down here in the very bottom would come up if you subscribe to that service. And here are cloud services, no associated service. I haven't clicked on this yet, so let's go ahead and click on it. There are your options right there for the cloud service. Continuous recording, you have little to a lot. Let's go ahead and get the free one here. Let's go ahead and check out this buy free one. Let's see what happens with this. Let's go ahead and click on I know. And I'm not sure if that's three days continuous and you have to activate that every month or if it's just one month for free. But here now we have detected sound and that will all be in your cloud event there. We'll get some more footage of that. All right guys, checking out my trial cloud service. This will give you a couple options of what to expect if you do decide to go with a cloud service from the company. Let's go ahead and start up here at the top here. That is the local time and day. It has detected sound. And again, play around with your push notifications. If your phone is just blowing up all the time, if this is an indoor camera, it's picking up your pets, et cetera, it's gonna be uh, nonstop vibrating. So I actually took off my push notifications for certain things, but right here it detects movement here in the middle and also detects sound, which is really nice as well. 
So let's go ahead and go down here and let's check out maybe one where I'm on the couch, detects movement, and let's see here. Okay, oh, I'm over to the right over here. And what's cool is you can zoom in. I'm just reading my Bible, having my cup of coffee, my smoothie in the morning. <laughs> check that out. Again, you can zoom in with that. Uh, speed multiplier, that's kind of cool. You can two exit, four exit, uh, 0.5 exit, or uh, in regular time. And it looks like it's captured four minutes and 42 seconds of video. That's fantastic. Uh, top left is going to be the date and time. And you can, again, pause that or play that. Look at that. That's very nice quality HD footage looking great there. All right, now let's go ahead and see what's going on with uh, detected sound. <laughs> so that was somebody calling my cell phone, which is way on the counter, way over there. So that is really cool. And so that picks up sound there. Again, that is the cloud service. Let's check out this one here. I think this is from late last night. There I am walking around in the kitchen, washing my hands there. Looks like it's 1.01 in the morning. I need to go to bed, I'll tell you what. Getting in the refrigerator there. I think I'm getting my midnight snack, my slice of soy cheese, and a little bit of hummus while I'm finishing up season uh, three, uh, episode one of The Crown. All right, look at that. Captured five minutes and 34 seconds. You can go ahead and skip forward. There I am on the couch watching it. That's great, guys. That actually is really nice. All right, let's get you some daytime shots now, guys. Let's go ahead and raise it up a little bit. And we're looking great. Nice, clear image. You can see literally the pillow outline right here. My beard, my shirt, blue. Look at all my decorations, my projector behind me here. And my internet is actually running a lot smoother right now, to be honest with you. Sometimes, again, because this is completely wireless, if your connection is spotty, then you're gonna get maybe some more glitches. But it's running very smoothly right now. Very little, if any, lag time where I'm waving my hand in the air. Let's go ahead and go one, two, three, hand up. Barely any lag time there. One, two, three, hand up. Nice, very nice. I'm also gonna test this out uh, with a direct ethernet line in. And obviously if you wanted to do it that way, that would take out any lag time if you're directly connected, as long as obviously there's no outages in your area. There tends to be sometimes uh, certain evenings where the internet gets a little bit bogged down in my area, but you can see all the way to my chairs there. Let's go ahead and move this over to the right side here. You see my robotic vacuum there, my guitar, that's looking great. Let's go ahead and raise it up. Photos on the wall, so that's absolutely fantastic. Not to mention, I think we can still go a lot more right too. That is awesome. To be able to see what's in back right of the camera, that is very nice. My little pots and decorations there. Going down to the picture frames, my electric fireplace. Very crisp images. And the last portion of my test here, guys, we're in full HD and I am directly connected. See my black ethernet cable, and let me point to the right direction here <laughs> so I'm looking on the screen. Uh, over here in the bottom left corner is gonna be my ethernet cable and I'm going directly from my router to my camera over here. So what we're gonna do here is let's go ahead and sit on up here and I'm gonna go ahead and hold my hand right here and go one, two, three, up, down, one, two, three, up, down. So even directly connected, it depends on your internet speed and it depends how fast it's going. If you do have spotty internet service, you might want to directly connect it in. There is that option as well. You will need the power cord and the ethernet connected. I tried to power it just the ethernet cable and it didn't seem to want to power it. So you will need to plug it in to the wall adapter and use a direct connection if you want to go that route. If you have great internet, then obviously go the wireless route. That's why most people buy this camera. And I'm using my phone, which has the app on it for screen capture, but using screen capture and, and trying to show you the audio of the microphone actually doesn't work. So when I stop screen capture that I'm using right now, the microphone and speaker work fine. I can hear my voice out of that as well. So for 2A audio, very nice. But again, my apologies 
for not showing you that example due to the fact of screen capture won't allow me to capture that for some oddball reason, probably microphone inputs, something or other. But anyway, works fine. And then I do wanna show you a couple little things really quickly before I let you guys go. In settings here, but down here towards the bottom here, we haven't looked at detection area and detection sensitivity. So you can go low, medium, or high for detection sensitivity, but detection area, this is pretty cool here. So select an area and you will get alarms for that specific area. So let's say that you had your dog, let's say fenced off in the uh, upstairs. Let's just use my uh, stairway there. So it's taking the image of the camera. And so I would just choose this area here so that if like a dog was gated up right there in let's say my bedroom or the kitchen and it jumped over, then obviously it would trigger that as well. Or let's say you have a small child, uh, a toddler that crawls over or whatnot, you guys get the idea there. So that's a pretty cool little feature of that. And you hit finish there, select all if you wanna select all, and we'll go back there. And guys, before we do wrap it up, I do wanna mention a couple things. This is a review video, so I do have to mention a con. And this is a app issue that can be fixed, hopefully by developers. So hopefully the developers will see this and be able to fix this. But on my phone, which is Android, Samsung S8 Plus, it takes me upwards of 20 to sometimes 30 seconds to log into the app. Once I'm in, it's great. Even with the direct ethernet connection in that I've tested, it actually still takes about 20 to 30 seconds to log into the app. I wish that was a lot quicker. So hopefully, the, again, the developers, that's an app issue, not a hardware issue there. So overall, guys, it's a very nice camera with very nice features as well. But again, if you are using it solely for Wi-Fi, it is, again, a Wi-Fi camera. So if there are any issues, issues in your Wi-Fi, that might give you a little lag time like we talked about, or potentially if you have fast internet with no droppage, then you are definitely good to go. If you guys want to read more about it, pick one up yourself. Again, it is linked in the description box below of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up if it has given you an informed decision. And again, look for those links and subscribe to the channel because I got a lot more videos like this and another security system by the same company as well. I will link that right after this video. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.